Hi, my name's Harry. Welcome to another episode of Welding Fabrication. Today we're going to be looking at air arc gouging. Um, air arc gouging is used as an alternative um, to oxyacetylene gouging or electro gouging uh, for taking out welds. Um, increase the speed of the process, so if you've got a weld defect such as it could be an inclusion uh, or porosity, helps with the removal of that uh, inclusion, especially when you've got a large, dense amount of material. Uh, helps you remove it very quickly um, to increase the production rate and, and speed in which it would be to do the repair. Um, so we're going to be using uh, an air arc gouging torch. We're using a 300 amp, 300 amp machine. In this instance, we run it at 300 amps. Um, and we're going to be using uh, an air arc gouging torch. So the torch itself has got a button on the side. So as you push it through, you get like a burst of compressed air through the two holes on the inside. Um, and we're, we're running a copper clad electrode. So it's a carbon based electrode. Uh, with a copper cladding on the end, pointed tips with a graphite coating on there to aid with arcing up. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, gouge the material out. Now you do need to make sure that you have a high rate of compressed air so you've got a good receiver tank uh, because the volume of air that you're going to go through in a short space of time is going to be very, very high. So to ensure that you're, um, the amount of uh, air that you're going to be using, uh, you need to have a good recovery rate on your compressor. Um, you also need to have a good duty cycle on your weld machine. If it's a low current, a standard low current machine, if it goes up to sort of 150, 160, it's not going to be any good for, for air arc gouging because we run at very high amperages, uh, even though it's for a short period of time, potentially if you've got lots of gouging to do, it will very, very quickly trip the thermal cut on the machine. Um, so, yeah, so we're using the copper clad uh, point electrodes, um, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to set ourselves up, we're going to bring our electrode in and we're going to come down and push the electrode through the material. So we drop down to about 10 degrees. The steeper the angle you have, the deeper the amount of material, the deeper it digs in and effectively the more material you're going to gouge out. So you want to keep reasonably low and then we're going to push through on the face of the material. It is very noisy so if you're doing a lot of air arc gouging as well then obviously your defenders are a really important thing. It's also because it's a form of arc gouging um, the UV uh, infrared and the visual light that's given off from this is very, very high. So you're looking at a reasonably, depending on the current range of welding that, between potentially a shade 12 and 13 uh, when you're gouging, and lots and lots of gouging as well. It's very important to look after your eyes. Um, high velocity material, which is going to be projected off when we're, cut, when we're uh, gouging as well, which in turn basically means that as we gouge through the face of the material, um, the air is going to force that molten material out. Um, so you need to be very, very careful of things like fires when you're, when you're looking at uh, gouging as well. Okay, so we put our electrode in. You can adjust the angle, so it depends on how you need to go in on the face of the material. But the important thing is that the two air holes that you have in here, the two air holes are pointing in the direction of the gouge that you're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is drop my angle down. Everything's live, so as I strike the electrode, as I strike the electrode, uh, basically what's going to happen is it's going to push I'll turn the compressed air on and it's going to push through on the actual arc gouge itself. Right, mind your eyes. So we can see there in the machine already the duty cycle because it's quite high, the fan's kicked in. Uh, so the fan's kicked in already. You can see the end of the electrodes glowing red hot. But you can see on the material um, how we've gouged this weld out. So what the weld would have looked like. So what it looks like now. So we've effectively took out a massive chunk of material. Almost down, I would say probably almost 50% of the material thickness. So that, although we've got an oxide layer on there now, this will come off quite easily, like so. A little fettle up with the grinder and then you can do your repair. Thank you.